Hey guys, this is uh, Tension bringing you a new video for Raid Shadow Legends. And I actually got a video cam set up now so I can actually record my face. So here I am. I uh, got the, the luscious beard and everything for your enjoyment. <laughs> so uh, thanks again for uh, checking out this video. Um, this video is going to focus on uh, the time it takes to level champions on 12-3 uh, with a Raid Pass buff, which is, if you have it, 20% XP from campaign battles, as well as 20% silver, and an XP buff going as well. Um, as you know, the XP buff is a 100% increased uh, XP in all battles. If you're going to be farming food, you need to have this. You, I'm still a relatively new player. I've been playing for a little bit over a month, so I have stocked up the buffs, so I have quite a while left to go. But if you are in the situation where you have one infrequently, uh, make sure you save them for when you're going to go on that big farming spree. So let's just get into it. I got a handy dandy stop clock next to me. I'm going to just show you real fast how long it takes to level up um, champions on 12-3 with these buffs and a really efficient 12-3 farmer. So 12-3. Nope. Uh, here we go. Let's see. We'll start off with some level 2s first. Just pick some red ones. Pull up the handy dandy stop clock. Hit play and go. Uh, I wish they would get rid of that little warning sign. Or you click once that you understand that you have no uh, champion aura available. What the hell am I doing? I'm on 10-3 uh, actually. I'm not on 12-3. So I don't know what my mind was thinking. I was too focused on other stuff. But we'll count it. It'll be a slow run. Messing everything up, man, I swear. I actually don't know the XP diff- Oh, that makes it worth it. Oh, wow. When your mess up actually makes it worth it. Alright, let's try this again. I'm gonna do some new champs, because I don't know the XP difference. 41 seconds, woohoo. Um, I don't know the XP differences on those, those levels, so I don't want to give you misinformed information. So let's try this again. Okay. Honestly, sometimes the load-in screen takes almost as long as the battle for me on 12-3 with this uh, amazing farming champ, so let's see how it goes. Boom. Boom. Gonna go 100% efficient. Click as fast as I can once I see that button. Again, though, this is the importance of a 12-3 farmer like this. Um, there's obviously certain champs that are doing better at it. You know, if you notice, I'm using the green champion, which is normally a 2-star um, Saramus. I'm not actually sure how you say his name, but uh, this little lizard dude is amazing because he has two AoE abilities. Oh, he didn't kill him there. Um, two AoE abilities, so he's always going to be doing AoE and wrecking the enemy. I would say anything under 30 seconds is a good clear time for 12-3. Um, anything under 10 just speeds it up, but 30 seconds is, you know, it's not going to add too much time because unless you have unlimited, unlimited energy, uh, it's not that big of a difference. I just like my clear time. This one didn't go well at all either. But let's see. I'll show you how, how I have him built after I do a couple of these runs too, just to show you how you have to build some of these lower champions because they have to have a certain percentage of attack, crit rate, crit damage, in order to be efficient, um, especially because they are so gear dependent. That was a good one. Eight seconds. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I got the webcam set up, so now everyone can see my my face and uh, see the man behind the content. This is something I have always wanted to do for quite a while. Um, a little bit of history while this is going on. I used to actually uh, try to go pro at certain games. I remember back in the day it was uh, Gears of War, StarCraft II. Um, I went to MLG events with some of my best friends in high school. This is 10 years ago, by the way. Um, and... Yeah, I've always enjoyed gaming. It's been a way for me to... My pastime uh, helps me with uh, my stress and anxiety from everyday life. And 
it was imminent when I discovered old school RuneScape that I love games with number crunching like this. Um, anytime there's XP and numbers on the screen, uh, it jolts my mind into thinking and brainstorming on how to better those numbers. And it's just something that I, I personally love. So this should be the last round. Yep, so let's go and stop it. So look at that. So for three two-star champions with a very effective 12-3 uh, farmer, it took me le right under three minutes to get them enough uh, XP to upgrade them to level three. I won't go ahead and do a level three run just to, um, excuse me, uh, because it's about double this time, but you can see that to get three level three champions to max level 30 would probably take me probably about five to six minutes with this champion. And again, just stressing the importance of a farmer. A 12-3 farmer is top priority above clan, uh, clan boss damage, above arena. I mean, anything in this game is the most important thing. I used to have my legendary as a clan, uh, the campaign farmer. And it was 30 seconds, it was clear. Uh, but he is a red affiliation champion, which was getting countered. So I really needed either a blue or a green ch uh, champion to farm. Uh, I saw a video of this guy. Commons are, un I'm sorry, uncommons are really great to get because it's easy to max out their skills because you can just use other uncommons to level them up. But basically, this is unfortunate. So every once in a while he doesn't crit, but 99% uh, crit rate, 100 is what you need. As much crit damage as possible. This is not possible with this champion unless his crit damage is over, I would say, 150%. And his attack is over 3,500. So I have the attack. I need a little more crit damage, I think, to be effective. 32, 33k power is where he needs to be in order to um, be fully effective. But let me go to show you the gear I have on real fast as my farmer. Uh, I got pretty lucky with this weapon. Uh, double crit, it went into crit damage twice, crit rate speed. Pretty happy with that one. I have a crit damage set on because I need the crit damage percentage. It's the most important thing. 10%, this is a really good one. Um, Obviously, there's one substat that you will want to replace, but 3 out of 4 is always a good thing to shoot for. My shield isn't the best, um, but it's one of those things where I need it speed because his base speed is actually slower than the enemies on this level. And I was testing it out when he had about 100 speed, he still would go after them. Uh, at this speed level, he goes first and a lot of times will go second uh, before they do their abilities. Not always, but it's close. I'm not going to invest any more speech because I want him to go first. Gauntlets are crit rate, 100%. 50% um, crit rate. They got some crit damage, attack percentage. Again, another pretty good um, pull on those. I need a better chest. Speed chest, attack 50%. Crit rate, 5%. But again, at this point, the attack 50% damage was the most important factor. And then boots. I actually have attack 50%. And again, the reason why is because he is primarily only for farming and spider. And honestly, speed isn't the most important thing on either of those. I have my Apothecary for the speed buff. Uh, his AoE is what's necessary. And 50% attack, crit rate 16%, crit damage 4%. It was, these boots were fantastic. I needed them to get to where I am. So yeah, that's my gear for my farm. Oh, the Show you these. I have an attack ring on. Not the best, but pure attack is what I was going for. 33% uh, crit damage, 5 star amulet. Great crit damage. Unfortunately, the substats are not good. Uh, do I actually have another one? No, those are both defense. Crit damage. Attack. Nah, you definitely want crit damage. I might level this one up later. It's funny. It has accuracy and resistance to see if I get the attack percentage. But I'll check that out later. And then an attack banner, just because it's probably the, the only banner I have, honestly. And uh, luckily, 7% attack damage, some HP. But overall, that's my gear for this champion. Uh, again, it took less than three minutes to farm three two-star champions to level 20 for food. The importance of a 12-3 farmer, everyone. Thanks again for checking out this video. I'll have more videos to come soon. I appreciate everyone for tuning in. Uh, this is a new thing for me. I really love this game. Number crunching games are fantastic for my mind. It's just a way it helps me deal with anxiety and stress. Um, this game is one of the fairest when it comes to energy. Uh, and if you are planning and accurately trying to play this game efficiently, but not 100% efficiently, um, like I said in one of my other videos, 
using all your energy before bed, using all your energy when you wake up before work. Just even if it's just farming food, it takes away some of the aspects of the grinding part. Um, that way you can enjoy things like arena. I personally almost always play my arena manually because I love the number crunch. Uh, clan boss, you should be doing manual. I'll make a video on that later as well. But again, this game is great. I uh, hope my sharing my knowledge helps us people. I'm still learning myself, so if there's something you want to dispute, uh, have a con uh, conversation about, I am perfectly open to that. Um, there are many other builds, many other ways to do it. So again, thanks for watching, and uh, till next time.